Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know this is a way overdue, overdue long video. Sorry about that. It's just I've been really busy, like always. I know that's just like my excuse probably for everything. You guys are probably already annoyed. But um, yeah, I've just obviously been working a lot more than giving more hours since it's almost that time for spring and all that kind of stuff. And I've also been moving. So I moved from my little small one bedroom apartment with my husband into a three bedroom, three bathroom house. We did not buy it. We rented it obviously, but we're renting. And um, so yeah, I was just trying to settle in and then trying to get adjusted. And now we don't have a desk to put the laptop and all that kind of stuff. So I couldn't upload and I didn't really have time to film and all that stuff. But now that I do have a little bit more time, I know in March, really like three months later or like two, Anyways, um, just want to say thank you for all that stuck by me, my subscribers. I really appreciate it, and I feel really bad that I have not been uploading. And I'm just hoping that you guys are still interested, because I do this for all of you guys, and just for myself, too, because I really like makeup, you know? So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you my BoxyCharm, my Sephora Play Box for December. Yes, I already did get my... Uh, boxy charm and then um, Sephora for February and for January as well. I just need to film those and I will get those uploaded as soon as I can. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first major thing in Boxy Charm was this Pure Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow collection from Buff Collection. That was a lot of saying right there. Anyways, though, it's got a lot of cooler tones. You got your highlights right here, um, the whites, and then a little bit of lighter pinks and purples. Um, what is this? A gold shimmer, a little bit of grays, and then you got some green and then some black colors up in there. And it's very, um, it's a very pretty palette. But then when I first saw it, I was like, this looks a lot like the Naked Three palette, and it basically is. I mean, it's even the same price. It's fifty-two dollars, I believe, or fifty dollars, and I think that's the same price as the Naked palette, or maybe that's fifty-four. I'm not sure. But um, it's got the same brush. Obviously, I don't have it right now. The only thing I don't like about this palette is the mirror. It's like one of those fun houses mirror that it just, I mean, you, you don't look right in this mirror. Let's just be honest. So I don't recommend using this mirror to put on your makeup. But um, the colors are very pigmented. They do come on really nicely, but sometimes do have a little bit of fallout. So be careful with that. But I say it's not a big deal. I mean, if it comes in box charm, you might as well use it, right? I think it's just very useful travel size eyeshadow palette if you don't want to take your other ones. But, um, okay, so the next thing I end up getting, not a really big fan of nail polishes, but um, when I do get them, it's nice just to have them, you know, for one day, maybe some will want one. It's the Butter London Nail Polish in Ruby Marae. You can see I'm closer now. But it's a, definitely a very nice, I think I've only used this once in December. It's definitely a fall color. Um, it's very pretty, but I can't really say too much more about it. I mean, it is... A good brand it did come on nicely so that's all I can say the next thing I ended up getting was this long-lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra in the shade Napa Valley and this is obviously this shade right here but I can swatch it again so you can see it a lot better it's this purple one here it's very metallic it's got like like um like a shimmer or a highlight when you like move your move your face and like it's just different types of lights you can it just seems a lot prettier Excuse me. And it is um, definitely a very dark bowl color. I'm pretty sure it goes with all skin types, you know, if everybody got it. It does look good on me, too. I I've worn it a few times, but I haven't worn it out in public yet because I am a little bit um, shy and wearing, like, super, super bowl colors out in public. So I just try to wear it, like, around the house or something like that. I just want to play with my makeup one day. But it's very nice lip color. The next thing I ended up getting, it came in this box. I already have one as well. So I'm like, great, now I got two. I have no idea what to do with it. It's in the brand, how do you say, it? Cougar. And it's um, Mineral Face and Body Shimmer in the shade Diamond Kiss. I'm not sure if they have different shades, but this is a really pretty gold shimmer stuff. It's just a lot of um, glitter powder you can put all over your body. I don't know why you would put on your face. I mean, is this like a highlight or something? I haven't really used it, let's just be honest. I have two of them and I have no idea what to do with them, as I said. So, it's just going to go back in my little box and maybe one day I'll probably give it away as a gift. Um, okay, so the last thing I ended up getting was this lip liner from Eva Beauty in the shade Coral. And it's a very nice uh, pink coral color. 
You can wear this just alone on your lips as just like a little lipstick or like a little, not chapstick or something like that, but you don't even have to wear it like as a lip liner and then you just put your lips. You can just wear this by itself. It's a really nice color. So yeah, that is all that's in my BoxyCharm. The next thing I ended up getting from Sephora was, sorry about that, is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and this is long lasting. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys all heard about it. This is a really good setting spray. And this is obviously a sample size. But um, they have much fuller size as well. I really like the little spray-on bottle. It's definitely travel size friendly. And it does last a long time. I wear this all the time when I go to work. Because at work, it's more of a physical job for me. And so I, I am moving around a lot. I don't sweat a lot. But my face does get oily throughout the day. So this really does help. So the next thing I ended up getting was this Detox Dry Shampoo. Oh, you can't see it. It's too bright. It's like this mint color color bottle that's what it is it's from the brand dry bar I believe it absorbs oil and freshens hair and it really does do that it smells really pretty like floral flowers um I have like nothing negative to say about this because it really has helped my hair a lot since I don't wash my hair every day I use this um every other day when I don't wash my hair and it takes away that greasy look and I do have a little bit of dandruff sometimes when I don't wash my hair every day and this actually like takes it away I don't know if that's even possible but my hair really does look nice obviously I need to dye my hair look at this this is like my natural hair color black and then you can tell like I dyed it like the golden brown medium Jesus anyways sorry about that <laughs> so the next thing I ended up getting was this Bobbi Brown smoky eye mascara it's just in the shade black as well this is obviously, I think this is a full size sample, not sure if it's um, a sample size, but it's got one of those chubby wand sticks. And I really like um, the little chubby ones because I feel like you get a lot, it's not it's not clumpy, you get a lot of a longer and more um, fuller volume for your eyelashes and that's what I like. And it's definitely not waterproof, so I like that. I don't like waterproof mascara at all. Okay, so the next thing I ended up getting was this little cream lip stain from the brand Sephora. And I've never really used anything from the brand Sephora, obviously. And you, I mean, I don't know, I just have it. And it's just in the shade 01. I don't know if that's a color or whatever, but it's just obviously red. It's a very bright red, as you can see. I'm not sure if I can pull that off. I've probably worn this like once, but again, I have not worn it out in public. I've been too a little bit afraid to wear it. I wore more of um, pinks, um, you know, more glosses and stuff like that. I don't like to wear a lot of bold colors yet. But this is definitely pretty for the fall, or just for whenever you want to wear it, you know. And I believe this is a sample size. This is definitely not full size. The last thing but not least is this little sample size from Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Primer. And this is targeted more for oily skin, I believe, and maybe large pores. That's what I have. Can't really see, but sometimes during right now I get like a little bit of like weird little, sometimes acne bumps and stuff and like that and this helps a lot you know because I do have a lot of oily skin especially around my cheeks and around my nose area and definitely in my t-zone I get more oily and stuff so I always need to like use everything that's like acne prone skin or oily stuff like that oil free I meant and this helps out a lot and this actually lasted me since December I don't use it all the time obviously but I will get some more once I run out so yeah this is basically it for December for BoxyCharm and for Sephora and I definitely will have more videos uploaded obviously I already got the February boxes for both of them and for January as well I just need to film them then I did end up buying a little bit more extra stuff probably um, it was this eyeshadow palette for Morphe and then this little not like oil blotting sheets but it's like this thing from the beauty blender as well and it's really nice too I like it I'll make a video on that too and so I just want to say thanks for sticking around, guys, and keep on tuning to the new videos. Bye.